Hi, I'm Glenn Orpheus, and this is my review of the all-new Cy Russia Komodo. The bike comes in four colour variations. Blue and black, white and black, gunmetal grey and black, and finally, my favourite, orange and black. So, on the back wheel, we have the 750 watt rear hub motor with a max output of 1000 watts, coupled with 80 newton meters of torque. Also, a 7 speed Shimano cassette and derailleur. We have a large aluminum double sided crank with foldable pedals should you need to squeeze the bike into that smaller space. Next, we have the 48 volt 14 amp hour battery that's hidden in the frame behind the black shield, which can be removed if you so wish, using the key provided. Also, below this we have a handy charging port with a rubber water resistant cover when not in use. The rear shock sits right above the crank, which is a sprung suspension unit. The front motorbike forks are fully adjustable and are the same as the XF900 thus being oil and spring loaded. The bike sports 20 inch, four inch wide fat tires, both front and back, which are both puncture resistant for added safety. An adjustable height and angle handlebar to provide a comfortable riding position. The bike also sports a rear removable rack and tail light, which also works as a brake light. A nice comfortable seat and kickstand, and not forgetting, front and rear fenders. The front wheel is a quick release and above that we have the front light and a really tidy cable management to the handlebar. The left of the handlebar has all your controls, lights, horn, up and down buttons with a mode button underneath, with ergonomic and comfortable handlebar grips on both sides. On the right side we have the Shimano 7 speed gear selector and half twist throttle. On the rear of the handlebar, we have the Zoom hydraulic brake levers on both sides, which also cuts power to the motor when engaged, plus also lighting up the rear brake light. Then, sitting in the center of the handlebar, we have the bike computer display, which has various functions. And lastly, we have both front and rear 180 mm disc brakes. So, before we get into my throttle test and final thoughts about the bike, here's some nice music I wrote, coupled with some B-roll footage.
So, before we get into my thoughts about the Cyrusha Komoda, I think it's important to let you know the price. In the UK, the recommended retail price is £2,299, and in the US, you'll be expected to pay US$2,499. That being said, do I think the bike is worth the asking price? Well, the simple answer is yes. Now, I've ridden a few step through bikes in the past, but the Komodo does feel like it's on another league. The 20 inch, four inch wide tires really help you to feel secure on the bike due to the larger footprint you have on the road. The front and rear suspension is great and coupled with those four inch wide tires, the bike just soaks up any bumps and dips in the road. The inclusion of both front and rear lights is also a great addition. And also now that we have a working brake light on the rear, takes the bike to another level of safety. Gone are those floppy fenders that were used on older Cyrusha bikes. Now replaced with much more rigid ones, makes a great difference. The bike's rear rack is nice and wide, made of strong metal tubing, which I feel is very sturdy. I'm not sure how much weight the rear rack could hold, but I feel it would hold more weight than you would put on a bike rack without fear of unbalancing the bike around corners per se. It's great to finally see a colour display on the bike and it's really simple to see and operate whilst riding. It has to be said that I also really applaud Cyrusha on making the manuals for the bike only accessible online rather than on paper. One thing that really surprised me though was the power of the 750 watt motor. Man, this thing really accelerates fast. And coupled with the 80 newton meters of torque, it just made light work of every hill I took it on. Riding the bike without a battery power was really easy as well for a bike that weighs 66 pounds without the battery installed, or 74 pounds with the battery installed, which is how I tested it. The larger crank on the bike really helps, and I wish Cy Russia would adopt this for all of their range. So, who is the bike made for? Well, to be honest, I think anybody that's short, say five feet tall, will be able to get on this without any problems. But also for those people with minor mobility problems that have trouble getting their leg over a standard frame. But for me being six foot two inches, I also felt right at home on the bike too. So overall, I think this bike would really suit a multitude of people of all shapes and sizes. The overall design of the Komoda is great and it's just as much of a head turner as the rest of their range. Honestly though, I can't really find anything on the bike to complain about. So this bike gets a great big thumbs up from me. Just so you know, I've had quite a few Cyrusha bikes come through my hands in the last six years and all I can say is that their bikes just keep getting better all the time. I'll leave links in the description below to their websites, but also I'll put a link to the owner's Facebook group that I started some four years ago. And honestly, it's a great place to come along to, whether you're a Cy Russia bike owner or someone that's just interested to see what other people think and their experiences. So that about wraps it up from me. As I said before, the Cy Russia Komoda gets a great big thumbs up from me. I hope you found the video helpful and please if you've got any questions then don't hesitate drop a comment in the box below and I'll do my very best to answer them. So that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and until the next time bye bye